Hello everyone, this is Sandeep here from Physics HQ. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums from 12th Physics Textbook, Maharashtra State Board New Syllabus 2020. In this video, we will be covering third part of solving sums of Chapter 3, Kinetic Theory of Gases and Radiation. Please check out part number 1 and 2 also. So let us go ahead with the sum. The MSC power of sphere of area 0 0.02 meter square is 0 0.5. What is the amount of heat radiated by this spherical surface in 20 seconds? So we got time as 20 seconds. We got area as 0.02 and the emissive power which is denoted by R as 0.5. We are supposed to find amount of heat radiated which is given by the formula Q is equal to R A T. Let us put all the values R is 0.5 a is 0.02 and time is 20 seconds. So when we multiply this we got 5 to the 10 which is 0.01 into 20 which gives us 0.2 kilo calorie. So the amount of heat radiated is 0.2 kilo calorie. Let us go ahead to the next sum. Compare the heat of emissions of heat by a black body maintained at 727 and 227 degrees Celsius. So let us convert these temperatures into Kelvin first of all. So T1 is 727 degrees Celsius. When we add 273 to it, it becomes Kelvin. So this will give us 1000 Kelvin. Second temperature is 227 degrees Celsius. After adding 273, we will get 500 Kelvin. Now to compare the rates of emission, the formula for rates of emission is dq by dt is equal to sigma a t raised to 4. So from this what we can say is dq by dt is directly proportional to t raised to 4. So when we compare this what we have is dq by dt for first temperature to dq by dt for the second temperature given by t1 by t2 raised to 4. Let us put the values. So we got 1000 divided by 500 raised to 4. We can solve this what we get is 2 raised to 4 which is 16. So the ratio that we get over here is 16 is to 1. Next what they have asked is if the black bodies are surrounded by enclosure which is black and at 27 degrees Celsius what would be rates of loss of heat. Now they have given the temperature of surrounding which is 27 degrees Celsius. What we will do is we will convert this into Kelvin as well. What we get is 300 Kelvin. Now when you have temperatures for surrounding as well the formula changes and in this case the rate of loss of heat we will denote it by dq by dt prime is directly proportional to the temperature of the body minus temperature of the surrounding raised to 4. Temperature of the body raised to 4 minus temperature of the surrounding raised to 4. So by using that analogy what we can have is dq by dt prime for the first temperature and dq by dt prime for the second temperature. This will be equal to first temperature raised to 4 minus t0 surrounding temperature raised to 4. Similarly we will have t2 raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4. Let us put all the values. So t1 is 1000 raised to 4 minus 300 raised to 4 divided by 500 raised to 4 minus 300 raised to 4. Okay, so what we can have is we can take 100 raised to 4 common from numerator and denominator. We can simply solve it like this. This 1000 is 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 3 raised to 4 will be 10 raised to 12. 3 to the power 4 is 81 and there are two zeros which is 10 raised to 2. So 10 raised to 2 raised to 4 will give us 10 raised to 8 divided by 5 raised to 4 is 625 into 5 into 100. So 100 raised to 4 will give you 10 raised to 8 minus again 300 raised to 4 will be 81 into 10 raised to 8. So what we can do is we can take 10 raised to 8 common from numerator and denominator. What we will be left with is 10,000 minus 81 divided by 625 minus 81. So over here what we will get is after subtracting this will be 9919 and in the denominator we will have 544. So when you will take this ratio you will get 18.2. So the ratio is 18.23 is to 1. Let us go ahead to the next sum. Earth's mean temperature can be assumed to be 280 Kelvin. How will the curve of black body radiation look like for this temperature? Find out lambda max and in which part of the electromagnetic spectrum does this value lie. So we will be using the simple formula of lambda max T is equal to B where B is Wayne's constant. So we have lambda max is equal to B by T. B is given as 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by temperature is 280 Kelvin. So we can write this as 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 2.8 into 10 raised to 2 
which you can take up and this will become 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by 2.8 so you'll get answer something more than 1 precisely you'll get 1.035 into 10 raised to minus 5 meters this can be written as 10.35 micrometer micro is 10 raised to minus 6 so wavelength in the range of micrometer fall in infrared range okay so the second part of the question has asked which part of electromagnetic spectrum does this value lie so it lies in infrared range. let us go ahead to the next sum a small blackened solid copper sphere of radius 2.5 cm so we got radius 2.5 cm which can be written as 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter is placed in an evacuated chamber the temperature of the chamber is maintained at 100 degrees celsius so we need to convert this 100 degrees celsius into kelvin by adding 273 so we will get 373 kelvin at what rate energy must be supplied to the copper sphere to maintain its temperature at 110 so we need to maintain temperature of 110 degrees celsius which is 110 plus 273 which is 383 Kelvin. Sigma is already given which is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 and they are saying that rate the sphere as black body. So rate at which energy must be supplied is equal to sigma a t raised to 4 minus surrounding temperature raised to 4. So tell about rate so it is dq by dt. So sigma is given as 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8. Area is of a sphere sphere ka area is 4 pi r square temperature we have got the value as 383 kelvin minus 373 kelvin dono ka power is raised to so let us try to simplify this so what we have is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 into 4 into pi is 3.142 into radius is given as 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square 383 raised to 4 minus 373 raised now this needs to be solved with the help of logbook please use the logbook and finally when you will solve this you will get the answer as 0.9624 watts i hope you all understood this sum if you have any doubt in solving the log please refer to the video by clicking on the i button on the top right corner it will help you to understand how to use logbook for solving i hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next one. find the temperature of a black body if its spectrum has a peak at lambda max is equal to 700 nanometer which falls in visible region lambda max is equal to 3 centimeter which falls in microwave region and lambda max equal to 3 meter which falls in radio waves and we are also given even means constant which is b is equal to 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter kelvin so the simple formula for finding the temperature is b upon lambda max so for the first case what we have is temperature is equal to b by lambda max b is constant over here which is 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by lambda max so for the first case we got lambda is 700 nanometer please remember nano is 10 raised to minus 9 so it becomes 700 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter now we can simplify this 2.897 into 10 raised to minus minus 3 divided by this can be written as 7 into 10 raised to minus 7 you can take this above so you got 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 7 when it goes up it becomes plus 7 and with minus 3 it will give you 10 raised to 4 divided by 7 now it is simple to divide 7 4s are 28 so you will get 0.4 4 is a 28, 7 ones are 7, 27 will be 3 is a 21 and last will be 8 into 10 raised to 4. So we can write this as 4138 since it is temperature the unit is Kelvin. Let us similarly do the second part of this question T is equal to B by lambda max B is again 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by we got 3 centimeter over here we can convert this into meter by multiplying by 10 raised to minus 2 so what we have is 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 1 divided by 3 so this minus 2 goes above and become plus 2 with minus 3 it becomes minus 1 so we can divide this by 3 what we get is 0 0.9027 are 18 5 are 15 and uh, 20 is again 6 are 18 into 10 raised to minus 1 so this can be written as 9.656 to 10 raised to minus 2 kelvin next temperature is equal to b by lambda max again so you got 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 3 meter so let us divide it directly we already did that 
9.656 is what we got into 10 raised to minus 3 this can be written as 9.656 into 10 raised to minus 4 Kelvin. hope you all understood this that's it from this video and this chapter if you found this video useful don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates this is Sandeep from physics HQ signing off